know what kind of god I need to be. For you. For all of us. In what may have been the most tragic conclusion to the MCU since Avengers, Endgame, Loki ultimately achieved his two lifelong goals, a throne and the ability to carry out his noble purpose, in the most terrible way imaginable. After committing genocide on Earth in the Avengers, Loki transformed from possibly the most egotistical and evil character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to someone who was prepared to give his life in separate from the friends and family he had finally found in order to save the TVA and preserve the flow of time and space. His glorious purpose, it turns out, was perhaps the most important one in the entire MCU, and hardly anyone, not his brother, not his dad, and not any of the Avengers, will likely ever know. We pick up, after, as we witness a typical TVA day following Loki's rescue of the TVA. While everything is going according to plan, Hunter B-15 and Mobius appear to be more concerned with tracking and eliminating HWR, Kong variants than they are with eliminating entire timelines. They even make reference to Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania's events when discussing a variant that caused a ruckus on a 616 adjacent realm, saying that it was dealt with.